Hello and welcome to Gabbit Media. I'm Grant Abbott and today we're looking at masking, creating intricate objects on sculpts using masks. Now this is a slight aside from my axe tutorial so if you want to check that out take a look at the links in the description for a complete playlist of how to make this axe model creating a highly detailed game asset. But what I noticed whilst I was doing that, when I was creating the runes on the axe, I wasn't using a very optimal technique. And there's better features out there, and doing a bit of research and help from the comments, I'm going to show you this more optimal way using masks. So I've got my object selected and I'll go into sculpt mode, obviously you can have any object for this. And I'm in front view with one on my numpad, and we're going to scroll down my brushes to find the mask brush just here. So I'll resize that brush with F, and this enables me to draw on my shape an area that I can exclude from any effects of my brushes. So if I go back up to the draw brush now and start drawing, you can see that it excludes the mask area. So I'll undo that and I'll undo my mask and go back to my mask tool, back to front view with one, and I'm going to draw some runes on here and then use that mask to extrude them out. So I'll zoom in and in order to do this, I want to turn the hardness fairly high, so about 0.7. Let's just quickly take a look and see how that's looking. And we're trying not to get too much chunkiness around the mask because that will actually come out when we model. So if I zoom in, you can really see the faces and this is face dependent. So when I'm drawing, my resolution will be down to the size of my mesh. So these are all the individual faces. So I'll undo that. And what I'm going to do is a remesh of this object to make it nice and fine. So up to the remesh and I'm going to go to 0 0.003. Now this is dependent on your model and your size of your model. So what you're actually looking for is the size of the faces, not the voxel size up here. So I'll remesh that, and you can see the fineness of my faces now. Now if I draw a mask, we've got a much finer edge, and that should help us. So you can see that it's building up slowly. I don't actually want that, I want a complete mask because a slight mask like this will mean that mask area is slightly affected. So it is a sort of gray scale moving upwards. So I'll undo those once again, and I'll move the strength up to one. So let's see what that looks like. So now when I'm drawing, it fills it in properly. Although I'm using a pen, so actually when I draw, the pen pressure is enabled. So I want to disable pen pressure so it definitely draws a solid mask. So I'll undo those strokes. Now the last thing I want to do is to enable my pen pressure radius, then I can draw lightly and draw some nice intricate details, like so. Now I'm going to move back out so I can see the whole object and just draw some interesting runes. If you've drawn something that you don't like and you need to erase it, then you hold down control whilst drawing and that will clear the mask. Also, this works with symmetry, so make sure your symmetry is enabled if you want it to be shown on the other side. And once I've got those base shapes down, I can start adding a bit of detail to them. And I'll zoom in on certain areas for this. And you'll notice the detail that I'm able to go to using this mask that I wasn't able to go to when I was doing my runes before. That one's too close to the edge, so it might cause problems with topology later on. So I'll do that a little bit differently. Okay, so there we have some intricate runes, or fairly intricate runes. Now what we can do to extrude those runes outwards, as I want to pull them out this way, I can use the mesh filter tool down the bottom here. So if I click on that now, and there's an inflate option, that's the default option, I think. And if I start inflating, it starts inflating the non-masked area rather than the masked area. So I'll undo that, and what I want to do is invert my mask. So Control i will invert your mask, and then let's zoom in just a bit so we can see the results, and I can click and drag and pull them outwards. And you can see it's a little bit chunky around the edges, so let's try one more thing, which is mask, and weirdly sharpen mask seems to work slightly well here because it actually smooths out the edges, which it shouldn't do. If you go to mask and then smooth mask, you get way too much smoothness. So mask and sharpen mask seems to be the best result. Now I can use my inflate again and pull it outwards. And we've got some nice looking runes, especially from this sort of distance, which is my proposed distance. I'll just pull them out slightly less to around there. Now you can increase this detail if you remesh the finer, but you can't remesh at this point because you'll lose your mask. So make sure you do that first before drawing your mask. Now I've found there's no real way at the moment of preserving that quality of the mask. If I want to do some more details in here and dig them in, then I'll have to save this where it is now and work on a new mask entirely. Now you can use face sets. I haven't found them to work just yet. 
and it used to be that you could do the same thing from a face set but there doesn't seem to be that option now so maybe they're putting something in place so watch this space for more information on that so if I want to let's say do some detail in here that digs in and maybe on the back of the mesh here I'll save my work and then come up to the mask and clear mask then into front view and let's come down and start doing some intricate details in here with our mask brush enabled same settings although I can bring the hardness down slightly and that might help me with my edges so I don't need to do the mask and then sharpen option there and then we'll see how we go with these now the more intricate you draw then the more detail you'll need in your mesh so it doesn't look really chunky it does all depend on how close you're going to be to this model in game or maybe in film or whatever it's going to be used for so how close you are to the render so I've got the detail I want there so once again control I to invert that mask using the mesh filter with the inflate enabled let's come around to the side and just grab that and pull it inward slightly this time okay that seems to be working well I'll try it just quickly by mask and then sharpen mask and see what that looks like so inflate selected again and let's pull it in this time and see what difference that makes it does make a bit of difference really so let's come across that sharpen and pull it inwards remember to save your work so you've got a record of that mask and up to mask and then clear mask and there is our finished runic axe and you can see it on the other side with the mirror enabled okay so hopefully that gives you some more ideas about how you can make these intricate objects I think I'm going to continue with this one instead of the previous one because I think it looks a lot more intricate and detailed so if you want to continue watching the axe series then do check out that playlist and thanks for watching and I'll see you next time